Hey everybody, J the Asian Boy here. It's been a long day today. Uh, we're more productive than anything else. So, I wanted to make this video uh, as a. Well, it's two o'clock in the morning right now, and it's Wednesday. Uh, so I guess I can't really say it's the same day as yesterday, but it is too kind to summarize everything that's happened to me in the last twenty four hours. Uh, just basically just went to work, came home, did a bunch of other work, took a nap, and. Uh, here I am, you know, so I'm over here trying to keep perfecting my life and keep, not just perfecting, but making the adjustments that I need to make for me so that way I can be successful and happy. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, this is what we are all about. This is all about what we want to do with ourselves and find the true pursuit of happiness. Um, as you guys can see, I just showed you guys my BMW video. Uh, Why I made this video, well, for one, of course, I was actually was received a video from a good friend of mine, and uh, it was a video by Trennis Henderson, and I actually just started watching his his video, and I really like you know how he speaks and how his his mentality and everything. You know, I kind of I can relate to it as much as I can, as much as possible. So I was like, wait a minute, his he went to a dealership, Bentley dealership, and did this. So let me see if I can do the same thing. You know, like. I want to be able to experience that as well because I've always wanted a BMW. And the reason why was because one of the reasons why I fell in love with them was because my dad had got one at one point and then he had gotten it at an auto auction, you know. So I was able to sit in it and drive it with him to go wherever he needed to go. And it was amazing. You know, it, 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 it sucked me in. You know, just sitting in the car and being able to drive it. And at the time, this is like a 98 type 300 series, right? So I'm already in love. I'm already like, I want this baby right now, okay? But um, I didn't get it, of course. Uh, it was my dad's. He ended up giving it to my sister. But other stuff happened with the car afterwards. I'm not really worried about that. But all I know is that it definitely gave me the desire to want this vehicle for myself. To know that this is where I needed to have my butt in. This is what I needed to drive around in wherever I'm going, no matter where I'm do, what I'm doing, no matter who I'm seeing. So I went ahead and went to the dealership, you know, and if in case you haven't seen my video on Instagram, I'll definitely include it in this video now. So you can go ahead and look at that and go ahead and, and check that out and let me know what you guys think. Um, it is amazing out here. First of all, I am at the BMW dealership of Gwinnett Place. I am upgrading my life and my vehicles, trying to manifest this BMW today. Oh my God. Um, I really love the 320. I think I might start with that anyway. I promise you, I'm find that. Oh, he dip it out on me. Anyway. But yeah, the 320 looks nice. You got the 440. That's really nice. But I like the three of my favorite, the 300 series. I think those are really going to be my, my thing. Um, the pricing is don't even matter at this point i just want it i don't care <sighs> manifesting manifesting great things today it's going to be an amazing day uh, going to the audio dealership after this and see what she likes and just go from there i already done sat in it one of them already so it felt amazing i'm actually looking forward to seeing this one and see what it thinks and um just let me know what you guys think man i look good in this already wow so now as you actually seen the whole video this is the business card that I got from the guy that I was actually with. His name was Brian. And Brian was really, 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 really good. I would like to say that. So usually it's funny because <clears throat> if when you go to like the regular dealerships, the used car lots, like they not really amped up on really trying to help you type shit. So you really have to kind of go up there and kind of bring people out of their office so that way you can get the assistance that you need. So with that, what I ended up actually, actually, I didn't have to do anything. We parked, I got out of the car, and I, I probably, we probably walked around maybe two minutes, less than three minutes. Brian comes out. Hey, how y'all doing? You know, what you guys need some help with? I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. Introduce ourselves. That, that was a good start. That was a good start. So I was like, I didn't know how to react. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I already I had just got, I had 
change my clothes. You know what I'm saying? I was looking like a rapper coming out of the house. I was like, man, I didn't want to look like this a certain type of way. And it has nothing to do with me as far as like what other people perceive me as, but what I wanted to be presented as to other people. You know, I'm not a rapper. You know what I'm saying? I, and even though I might know what it's like to live in the hood, that doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean that I need to present that wherever I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I am still a sophisticated person. You know, I still am intelligent in how I speak and how I present myself to other people. And my appearance has to show that. So I take that upon myself to go ahead and be like, let me go ahead and change my clothes. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and, 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 and present myself in a way that will make people more able to receive me and maybe assume that I got the money to, to do this today. And that's what he assumed. You know, he thought I was going to buy that car today. And I loved it. I loved it because it... it, it, it Gave me a different type of experience that I never would have definitely have gotten anywhere else. Being that it happened at a BMW dealership was the icing on the cake. You know, because it's something that I wanted to do. Something that I, I, I have a passion for. Something that I love. I love vehicles. I love cars. I have worked on cars before in the past. And even though I've always had the stigma growing up that girls could not do things that guys wanted to do. Especially when it came to physical stuff. You know, especially when it comes to the body, especially when it comes to working on vehicles or just being intelligent altogether. And that's something that I always wanted to make sure that regardless of what everybody else thought, that I was going to do it for me. Because at the end of the day, that's what I wanted to do. For, and it was for me. Okay. So got in the car. Well, actually, well, I'm moving too fast. I'm moving too fast. So I spoke to him. We went and walked up and down the lot for a minute, looked at all the cars. I'm trying to figure out what series I wanted. I knew I wanted the 300 series. I didn't want nothing else. The 500 got this his body is too big. It's too long. I didn't like the back. It was a little too wide. I wanted something that fit me. <coughs> now, I, I am a small fit person. Okay. I'm 5'2". I weigh 140. But I'm fit. And I want my car to signify that so that when people see me down the street, riding, whatever, they know that's Jay. That's that Haitian mode. You know what I'm saying? And all of my essence, as far as the class, as far as my the, the size, as far as the power, everything. Okay? Because that's me. That's me. So I knew what I wanted. So I'm like, okay. Let me go ahead and walk up and down with him, see what he say. I'm asking him questions about the cars, trying to read up the actual reports, making sure that I can compare this car to that car. Come to find out, because I'm thinking, like, the 300 Series, they don't build them right now. For whatever reason, I don't know why I was thinking that. And that's another thing, too. Like, you, you actually open your mind and your eyes up to different things because you might have a perception of something, but then when you actually go into investigate it, it's a totally, something totally different. It, and that's what I found out, because... Again, I'm not sure where I got the idea from that they're not making them anymore, but they continuously making the 300 series. And I'm so happy. Like, that, that it makes me ecstatic. Okay. So now I know that I'm definitely going to get a 2018. Okay. And so I, was, I actually had settled on getting the 98 and realizing that I wanted to. What? Anyway, um, notification on Instagram. Anyway, um, realizing that. I don't have to do that. I don't have to. Do, I can actually go for what I want to get, and 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 love it. You know what I'm saying? And actually be happy with it. Today has been a kind of crazy shit that's been happening to me today. By the way, just just to, to, to throw that out there. But I'm not gonna interrupt anything that's happening right now. Um, so I was like, okay, look, and we go up and down, look at all these cars. I said, but I really like 300. So he was like, okay. So you're telling me, you know, for every one that it goes up, it starts at 320, then it was 340, then it goes 360, then it's a 400 series. I, I mm, stop right there. I want 300. Whatever 300, I want that. So he was like, okay, as the far you go up, the more power it's going to be. Okay? So I'm like, I got no problem with that. I can handle a little power. You know what I'm saying? Like, just give me the car, and I'll be ready. You know what I'm saying? So so I'm excited. I'm pumped up. I'm ready to get in. Just give me the key. Let me go ahead and test drive this mug. But I, was t I paced myself. I paced myself. I was like, let me go ahead and take this all in. You know what I'm saying? And actually enjoy the full experience. Being here with this guy and having my friend at the time, she's walking up and down the lot, so she's checking this shit out as well. And we were supposed to go down to the Audi dealership afterwards. You know what I'm saying? And still got to do some more of that. So, and that's another beauty of that thing, just having people to be there to support you. You know what I'm saying? To to be there, to have the same vision that you have and to, to believe in you. You know, like that shit goes a long way. So, I talk, tell him, I was like, okay, let's do the 300. So, he was like, okay, well, let's go ahead. So, we sat in the 340, right? So, I'm like, oh, this thing feels 
things. He's showing me the, the infotainment system. He's showing me the, 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 the screen that come, pops up on the dashboard. It got the sunroof. It got the, the heated seats. It, mm, but I, orgasmic. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, I like this. I really do like this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, playing it. So I'm like, I love it. Like, I'm all for it. It'd be different if I was like your person. You then, you know what I'm saying? I had the money, boom, boom, bam, let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and negotiate. I might even go tell you I'm in love with the thing. But because I'm experiencing it for the first time and I'm not exactly sure what to expect, I'm letting all my feelings out. So all my emotions are coming out, letting him know I'm in love with the car. I love BMWs. I'm experiencing it. Why I even want the BMW to begin with? I done had three, four, five different cars in my life. And I want something that I want. I want something that actually it fits me and it actually it, it it speaks to me, you know what I'm saying? Something that I can actually give a name to. You know, I've never been able to to name a vehicle, maybe because I never felt like I had that connection to to it to want to do that. So now that I was actually able to sit in this car, I was able to feel that. You know, I was able to feel that. So I was like, okay, I really like this. So he's talking to me. We're talking about the car. So I'm like, man, I right, I. Right. So he was like, well, you know what? Since it is gonna be your first one. Maybe we should start off with the 320. And I love the way he said that. Start off with the 320. Why? Because he's not looking at it as, just go ahead and get the 320. No. He actually was thinking of it as this being a longevity type thing for me. That I am going to consider consider to upgrade my car after the first BMW. Like, come on. Like, nigga, you believe in me too? Like, what? And he's not black. He's white. So I'm like, come on, bro. Like, we, we really, really... So I'm like, okay, the manifestations already happening. This is why we actually went to the dealership, you know, because she wanted to manifest her, her Audi, and I wanted to manifest my BMW. You know what I'm saying? And we just have a certain amount of time that we wanted to do with it. So that was why we went to go get the taste of being in the vehicle, so that way we can know what it's like, so that way we can feel the experience, so that way we can manifest it that much sooner. That way, also, we know what we need to do to get to, to get where we want to be, because, of course, you can think about it and want it all you want, but if you don't put the work in it, it's not going to come to fruition. So, to make sure that it comes to realization, you have to feel it, want it, desire it, then put the work into it to get to what you need to be. You know what I'm saying? So, so, Got into the 320. Only thing I didn't like about the 320, I will say that, is that it don't have a sunroof. So that is the only thing that's going to make me want to consider getting the 340 so I can get the sunroof. And I will not compromise the body. I will literally get for everything that I want. And basically upgrade what I was going to get originally, which was from the 320. And then to be a little more powerful. As well as the sunroof. Why does it matter to me? It's beyond me. Because until I can get my coupe, I'm getting my sunroof. Okay, so that, that, that was an experience, man. It was, it was really a huge, beautiful experience. I I advise everybody to do the same thing. Like, if it's something that you want, something that you... Don't let anybody stop you, first of all. Like, a lot of times we hear a lot of people say, like, you can't have this. You can't afford this. You aren't going to really be able to do this. Who, who the fuck are they? I don't care if they're your dad. I don't care if they're your mama. I don't give a fuck who is actually telling you that. If it's something that you want, you go for it. Don't let nobody stop you because that, that type of mentality is not the mentality that you want to adapt at the end of the day because it's gonna it's a, it's a no mentality. I don't want to have a no mentality. I want to have a yes mentality. I want to be able to say that, yes, I can do it. Yes, I can be a millionaire. And all I got to do is be realistic but dreaming about it at the same time. Like You can be realistic and unrealistic all at the same time. Like You can still wish that you could be a millionaire in six months and it'll happen. Because you will put the plan and work towards that plan to get to where you want to be. You don't think these things have to happen overnight? And not to say that success happens overnight. It's still, again, about the planning. Okay? Because you can say it and want it, desire it, all you want. But if you don't start putting it putting it down, writing it down. Like, I write, all my, I write everything down. I got books out the ass. I got notebooks. I got file folders. I got... You have to write stuff down. You have to write it down. Now you now you know that you something that you're gonna be working towards. Now you know that you actually taking it seriously. Then you go in and visit. Get your business card. I hold this now. I'm holding this with me everywhere I go until I get this BMW. Don't play with me. I, I'm serious about this. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I want her to get her audit. You know what I'm saying? And that's why the funny thing about it is just like this yesterday we were just talking about it. And or the day before, we were just talking about it. And ever since then, it's like everything's just been like shooting. 
boom, 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 boom. The universe is just like, if you want it, I got you. You want it? Come on. Here you go. Here you go. Take that. There you go. Here you go. And you just like, you trying to like take it all in and be like, I, right. you know, try to kiss that, try to kiss this. But then it's like, you don't even have to do all that. Just allow it. Just allow it. You know? Because it's going to come to you regardless. And we were seeing BMWs left and right. Seeing Aries left and right. And it's like, what is happening? You know? And then you're trying to think about like, well, is it really the universe? Yes, it's the fucking universe. What the, what else could it be? You know? And it has a lot to do with how you think. It has a lot to do with how you see life. How you see yourself in your life. And knowing where you are today and where you have been, knowing that whatever it is you're doing today is going to take you to where you want to be. It's the beauty of, of life. It's the beauty of give and take as far as what you put into the universe is what you get back. Being positive and, and being good to other people, being good to the right people. We forget the little things. The little things, they add up to big things. You know, I haven't always been this type of, I haven't had, always had this mindset. I had to start off with small things. I had to start off by meditating every day so that I can clear my mind. So that way I can have, replace those negative thoughts with positive things. So that way I had to start playing Abraham Hicks every day on a daily. So that way I can start manifesting the positive things in my life. So that way I can start manifesting the positive people in my life. Start replacing the negative people with positive people. Positive inspirations and motivations. And being able to have the affirmations that I need to have in my life so that I can be better. So that way I can so that I can emit that same thing. You know, I'm always telling you guys to emit greatness. Because I believe in that. I believe in that if you do that, great things are going to happen to you. You know, just like I feel like great things are going to happen to me. You know, and I want great things to happen to you too. You know, so whatever it is you have in mind, whatever desire that you have in your life, whatever love that you have and passion that you that you want to experience go for it go for it don't wait till tomorrow go for that shit now why why, why what's, what's, what's gonna be the difference between tomorrow and today it's gonna be 24 hours you know what i'm saying if, if you have to call out for work to do it do it i don't care if, if especially if it's a job you don't give a fuck about do it i for example i um not not lately <clears throat> but I did go. I've been going. I've been going to seminars all year. <laughs> but the, one of the few of the seminars I actually have been through I actually caught out of work because I, I felt I felt the need to do that, and because of that, I was blessed. I was blessed. Uh, I actually had received. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I'll come back to that. Uh, it's around here somewhere, <laughs> but. It, what I ended up getting, I went to this seminar, okay? It was a, a really, it was a marketing seminar, actually. Uh, I seen John Ron, John Ron, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Les Brown, I met him there. That was an, ex an awesome experience. Uh, and a few other people that talked about um, real estate. I also had people that talked about positivity. Of course, you know, Les Brown is all about positivity. So that... I really completely enjoyed and I loved it you know and it, it 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 really helped me put things into perspective you know I really cannot find this so I'm not worried about it right now but I will probably make a video for it in the in, in the near near future because I really want you guys to see it and I really want you guys to understand what it is that I'm actually talking about as far as that goes but um, I was blessed, you know. So I was blessed for going. So, and, and the funny thing about it is, I was actually the way I was blessed. I was blessed with like two thousand plus dollars in like gift cards and like travel discounts and stuff like that. So I even got a trip to Cancun. This, this is the things that you have to follow in your life. You know what I mean? Because you just never know. You just never know. Sometimes you go to an event, you never know what's gonna happen. And again, I'm talking to my friend again, and I mean, I'm. Eventually, she's gonna her YouTube channel is gonna pop off, and that's something that I've convinced her to do. And not only convinced her, but finally got her to actually want to start doing it. So hopefully that she takes that with her and decides to to progress and make it prosperous. You know what I'm saying? And of course, I'll show you. I'll give you guys the, the name when she when she starts adding more videos so that we can support. Um, but just like with that, like she went to an event and just 
not expecting, not knowing what to expect at the event, but then realizing after the event, do you could just like feel the happiness from her because that she went, because she went. And being able to feel that power in the room that she was in with everybody. Even if it was a small room, it was just filled up like it was tens of thousands of people in there. And I love that. I love that. And I love when people can can feel that wherever that they are because it, it puts you in a great place. It puts you in the vortex, as Abraham Hicks likes to say. It puts you on, in alignment so that with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because now you know. What is it that you like? What is it that you love? What is it that grabs your attention? What is it that makes you happy? And that you want more of it. That's what I found out at the seminar. And, and realizing that I was actually able to take a, take that chance and take, to make that step. And decide that I was going to go to work that day to go do this. And it paid off. And whether I received something or not, the message that I received and the people that I was able to listen to was a blessing in itself. Okay, And this has been happening to me all year. So I know great things going to happen for me. Great things going to happen for you. Just continue to be positive, beautiful people. Like at the end of the day, I want you to be happy. I want you to be successful. I want us all to grow and be great. Okay. And make sure that you pay that forward to the next person. Because we never know what everybody else is going through. And if you, all you got to do is be kind. And you and you could be surprised on how it could change somebody's life. So on that note, I'll definitely talk to you guys on the next one. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you.